So one of the most distinctive steps in tango, and one of the ones you learn pretty near the start, is the follower's cross, where the, the leader leads the follower to a position where she crosses her feet and then changes weight and steps backwards with the other foot. Um, it looks a bit like this. bit more room to, to move out than in here, but uh, you see the principle. Anyway, so it, this is how we, how we make that happen. We start off with our little balance sail, like we discussed in the last video. We're leading forward with the left. Then I'm going to tuck my knee in and step to my left, her right. Yeah, so into that direction. So my right leg is going across my left leg and stepping forward. We'll turn this round and do it the other way in a second. Step to there. I then lead one more step, and then I, I create the cross by leading her sort of diagonally back in front of me. So from here, I lead her across. She changes weight. I change weight, and then we walk out of it. So the idea is that we've created this little cross by moving her sideways. So if I'm the follower for a second, as she goes backwards, we then move her that way, not just backwards, but we move her across to there. When you're leading anything in tango, whether it's the cross that we're doing at the moment or any other move, remember that the lead comes from your chest movement, not from the arms. So if this cross, I was to lead here and then shove her, yeah, the balance all goes wrong. It's because my relationship between my chest and my arm has changed because I've done that. Whereas if I lead her, that one there, and if I lead her by turning my torso, not my hips, I'm not turning everything there, I'm just turning my torso, that leads her across. So, connection across. Leave that foot out the back while you're doing it. it, gives you a bit more balance. So, we're trying to keep everything nicely straight and in line. So, what we're not trying to do is there, turn out, cross and then go, that's, you no, know, it should be all nice and straight. So once more from this angle, then we'll turn it around. One, two, cross, change, go. There's a little bit of a twist, but not much. So to, sh to see that from the other side, from here, forward. See, my knee comes tight in past my other knee, a step outside her. Open with a very slight twist out, and then I lead her across, so that her feet cross. Followers change weight at this point. We step in and change weight, and then we walk out. So how do we lead her across? It's all about frame and connection. Um, if I do this straight at the camera for a second, There. So now what I want to do is I twist my upper body. Everything in tango is a lead from the chest and from the shoulders, but it's communicated to our partner through our connection with our frame, so our, our right arm in this case. So from here I then straighten her up and that leads her to step across. I change my weight and off we go. There's a sort of golden rule in tango that, for the followers at least, if you're led to a position where you need another foot to balance, put the other foot down. Your leader shouldn't be leading you in a way that you can't step like that. He should be leading you across so you can actually step. But that's kind of why this, why this all happens. It's not magic, it's not you have to learn this step. It's because I've led her backwards and then I lead her slightly across and she puts her foot 
underneath her centre of gravity, so she's now balanced. Change the weight and walk out there. So once again, we start over here. One, two, cross. Yeah, I've just moved her across that centre line, change weight, and go. Now as you can see, we're dancing in quite a small space here, which is actually not a bad a uh, bad way of practicing for crowded milongas because um, when you, you get a room which has got a lot of lot of dancers in there you can't always do really big complicated moves and you can't stretch things out I mean you can make this as stretchy as you like but you can, we're going to have to be a little careful with uh, running out of room yeah but you might not have room to do that so keep it small keep it neat and you can um, you can fit it into spaces. Just one tip, uh, followers, this doesn't work if you're not really stepping backwards properly. If I step there, 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 then it doesn't work. I'm trying to lead her across and she's just going to trip over her own feet. So just make sure that when you're, when you're stepping back you are actually projecting properly. Just as far as you are led, don't overstep it, but just... Yeah, don't end up in your, basically your armpit. That's it, yes, don't, don't get tucked in. Uh, keep the distance going.